Okay, so if you're like me, there will be a day that your Fiesta comes time to part out. So we're gonna show you how to rewire these from the spec detail lights that were on here um, back over to the stock lights. So real quick, just for the beginning, cause you might already be looking for this, but for the stock connectors, uh, the top of the connector is gonna go yellow, orange, uh, white from left to right. So yellow, orange, white on the top row. Bottom row, far left is gonna be red, far right is gonna be black. And there is that. And that is the correct wiring for the stock connector. Uh, for the other side, which if you forgot and you probably did, you can just pull these down. For the spec D connectors, um, they're a little different. So they're gonna go red, yellow, white, and then green and black. So they are completely different. I had to go find some screenshots, but those, if you've done the spec detail lights, you know how to rewire them, but I will try to show you that in a second. Okay, so now we're working on the, uh, taking the pins out of the connector. So this is the spec detail light we just took off the left. So what I'm gonna do is take this little flat head. I'm gonna pull this back a little bit. I'm just gonna go real gentle with this. See if it hangs up on this one spot right here. That's because I need to pull that back a little bit while I come up. And it takes plenty of finesse. And you wanna be gentle because these things love to snap. I just want to the little drill screwdriver. And I'll take a little pressure out. There it goes. See how that just pops right up and out like that? Then you can't really pull it straight out, so what I do is I stick it all the way under there and I just pull that right out of there. So it only goes in one way. If you try to put it in backwards, you'll see it won't fit. So when you put it back in, it'll fit right there flush. So now that I have that out, I can actually pop the pins out. So the way that works is there's little tabs down in here. So you can use all this little jewel screwdriver to do all this. But then what I'll do is kind of, so like this is my bottom right here. So I'll go in there and there's little, little pop tabs. So if you keep pressure on it with the right hand, if you don't have someone to help you out, you can pop that little tab out and you'll feel it get loose and then these pins pull right out like that and same thing when you're putting them back in you can't really put them in the wrong way because they don't quite want to go but when you put them back in they'll slide right in and then you hear a little click when they go in like that so that's how you repin it i just showed you the uh the picture of the wiring diagram so we're just going to put this back we're actually going to take this connector all the way off i'm going to make sure i actually have that flat There we go. So I'm gonna take all these pins out, take this connector and rewire it to the stock light, which I actually have sitting right here. So you can see all these wires sticking out off my stock light and we're gonna repin them back in this, the way I showed you with the stock headlight on this side, same pattern to uh, finish up the left side. But that's how you go from spec D uh, back. And if you're going from stock headlights to spec D ones, your uh, orientation of the plug right here is up. So it'll be red, yellow, uh, white, and then uh, bottom left will be green, bottom right will be black. So that's how you repin it. It takes a little jewel screwdriver, some patience. I would not work on these connectors when they're brittle and cold. So if it's winter and you're out in the driveway, you're probably gonna snap this white thing off right here. And once you snap this off, you basically need a new connector because I haven't been able to find just these little um, guards. But then when you're done wiring it all in, that goes back in, it'll just push all the way in and that keeps the pins from falling in or out. That's how you wire Specty and stock taillights.